I'm, this is, I don't even know, this is 16 practice? 16, I forget, 16, something like that. Um, and I think that for me, and just taking a glimpse of it so far, I mean, that, that's what we're looking for, to be honest. You know, guys are tired, guys are mentally drained, but they went out there, they competed. There's a lot of things we can do a, a hell of a lot better, but I think more than anything, the ability to compete with each other, the ability to still enjoy what you're doing, um, take advantage of this opportunity, it was, it was exactly what we want. And uh, we've got a little bit of a better, not a better force, but we've got a little fortune with not having school starting um, until another week or so, until the sixth, I think. So we've got a chance this next week to, you know, give them a couple, give them a day here to, to, to relax a little bit, but then be able to use this next week where we can still kind of be in some camp mode, where we can keep them here, we can do some things later at night because they don't have school and things. So I think this is going to be another big step for us to kind of shift gears into another little phase of what we're doing to, to still grow because we know we've got a long way to go with a lot of things we've got to get better at and do and come together with. But this next week is going to give us an opportunity to do some of those things a little bit different. So it's not the end of camp. I want to make sure they understand. Like it's not the end. It's not like that old school day where you're end of camp. You got 48 hours and go let loose. It's it's kind of like hey, there's we've got a little time here. We're going to use this next week really really well. And um, that end of camp might be in the in the middle of the week, which I think is always a little bit better. Um, there's not, hopefully not as much going on around here. So uh, good place, I think. Obviously, we got to get healthy in some situations, but uh, all in all, really like where we are. Oh, Renfro, uh, you know what? We're hoping it's uh, three, four weeks. We don't, we don't know exactly, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll get him back. It's just you know how quickly will we get him? I don't know that we get him back for game one. Will we get him back game two or three? Um, I, I hope, but we'll we'll, uh, we'll kind of see. It's a it's a, just a, a foot sprain. Do you still hope that at some point he can be on that top unit this season? Yeah, I mean, I think more than anything, if based on how it goes, I mean, it might be an opportunity that uh, his body has a heck of a lot more time to heal if he doesn't end up making it back into into the rotation or, or even being a one. Um, I wouldn't sell it short. I mean, I think that we've got some combinations that we can do. I think the uniqueness is our challenge is try to find the five that fit the best because that, those guys are like a glove. You know, they've got to be in unison. Um, but I wouldn't put it past him. I mean, we, we've seen enough from him to know that uh, when healthy and he gets himself back into in the shape he needs to to play, he'll be he'll be he'll be in there. With him out, do you have the, the five guys right now at least. Uh, I, I still think there's a little bit of, of some some movement. Um, so I don't know if, if you saw there today. I think there's a little bit of movement because Joe Huber's got to play some center with the twos. And, yeah. We've tended to maybe give him a double snaps at times, and we're try I'm trying to say let's give him an opportunity to, to, to get solidified maybe a spot. But the great thing is, is we've got some guys that can roll through there. Um, so I don't know that you can walk out saying, hey, this is the five. It's more like six, seven, and I'm okay with that. Sticking on the injury front there, we saw Riley on a scooter. Is yeah. that looking like a long-term thing? Or? It's kind of very similar, okay. kind of similar with Jake. We're hoping that maybe the, that the four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, we don't know. Um, he's got another foot as well. So hopefully, it was a, it, we just said Will, Will Pauling might have been out for three weeks or so, but some guys heal really, really fast, and you know, we'll be smart and, and, and continue to move forward, but uh, they're not out for, for a long, long period of time, so we'll definitely have them back at just how soon. Well, you talked about it in the past already, the chance of tight end room with some of the departures already. Riley was another example, like here are more snaps for some of these guys. It is. It, it's a little scary. I'm feeling like we're going to switch rooms up in there a little bit. We've had some, you know, some some injury bugs and some things that have gone in there, but uh, it's, it's given opportunities to some more people. I mean, obviously, Rucci doesn't need a million more opportunities. He's played a lot of football and done a really good job, but uh, and Tucker Ashcraft has got a lot of opportunities to get in there and, and JTC Graves and, and those guys. So so where it's tough on you and you get worried about it, you also look at the bright side of things like, well, we've got some young guys that are getting a lot of work that, you know, by the time they're, you know, week three, four, five, they're, they're not young guys anymore, especially as much work as they've got. You, know, you mentioned that Jack Hughes is dealing with a personal matter. I mean, we talked to Nate the other day. He said, hey, he's been great when he's been with us. Do you know what his status is? No, no, it's kind of another one of those things. Like, you know, it's a little bit easier with a foot or a knee. You kind of, you got a better idea of what it, when, it, when you, you know, you got a chance to be back. And so, no, we don't know exactly. He's around and, and uh, hopefully, you know, he can get back with us soon. You consider moving guys into that room at all? <laughs> we have. I, you know, I might consider it a little bit more. Um, but I think you'll see a, a mixture of some things. You know, we you always know that there's some guys we've got that are kind of versatile. Jackson Aker's a versatile guy. And, and uh, Chris Brooks is kind of, you know, a guy that's coming back from an injury too as a versatile guy. So 
we feel like we've got some pieces that we can move around a little bit, but uh, we also like what uh, you know what those guys have done at the tight end position. And they're, they're they give you some different uh, some different size and different abilities. I think with that, even the four or five guys that we still got right now. So I wouldn't tell them, so hopefully they don't watch, but uh, it is a little bit of getting back, get your body back in some ways. We'll still practice. We won't do as much of this ones-on-ones -on -ones in these situations where it, they're always competitive, but it will be maybe some more exchange stuff, some stuff with a little bit shorter spurts. So in a way, they're still training themselves and their bodies to play the game of football, but in some ways getting back and challenging the mind, I think, in this next week a lot more. What stood out to you about the way C.J. Getz has played here in camp? One of the returners that had the most snaps on defense last year? Every single day, and it's, I don't know that I could say that. A six-year guy, obviously that's not as normal, right? But I, we've had a few six-year guys, even before the, the whole you know COVID with guys had another opportunity. I've never seen a guy that in his sixth year every single day comes out and, and kind of impresses me more and more. And uh, C.J. has done that. I, I don't know what I thought from the spring, you know, because I think he was in and out a little bit in the spring, and and then from fall camp on, I mean, a, a six-year guy that hasn't missed a practice, that hasn't missed anything, has been up in the front. I mean, like, and every day has gotten better and shown me a lot of different things. Like, he is uh, he is a really really good football player, and uh, I think he's going to have another year. You talked about Travion Blaylock before and just the unique challenges he has, being a father, balancing everything like that. Do you do anything for guys like that? I know you've had fathers in the past on your team, but do you, do you try to do anything to help those guys out? Well, we try to do it before that. So sure. We try to bring them over to the house and get them aware that this is what chaos really looks like. And you think football game is chaos and practice is chaos. Go over to my house and experience that. So he's obviously got firsthand experience of that. So, uh, no, I mean, I, I think it's, you know, sometimes you, you take it for granted. He's so mature and he handles his business so well. And, um, you got to remind yourself sometimes just to check on to make sure everything's good. And so, you know, some of these situations where, hey, we got to stay here to eat, or hey, you can't go home. Like, it's, he might be a little bit different. And hey, we, we've got some flexibility, whatever you need to do, um, because he can handle it. You still waiting to hear on that? Get a waiver? Yeah, we don't. We don't know. I, I, there's, I don't know, a 10-day process or something. I don't know where exactly we are, but. Uh, you see him, he's in there, he's doing He's doing a really good job and he's getting adapted to all the things that we do and hope, hoping for the best. We've seen CJ, we've seen Bryce, and we saw Jim today make plays. Mm -hmm. Has that kind of been the same way defense since practice was closed? Yeah, yeah, we should bring that up. To yeah, no, it has. I mean, I think that I think the unique thing is, is if you really are here every day and you, you kind of, it, it always goes in waves, right? You know, one day the offense has, you know, kind of the upper hand, then all of a sudden the next day, it's, it's like clockwork in, in a lot of ways. And, and those guys have battled back and forth. And the uniqueness is, is the same way in there. Like one day the opportunities go to one guy, and next day opportunities maybe go to a little bit more of the other guy. And, um, but nonetheless, I think pretty much all of them, when they've had their opportunities, have done a really good job of stepping up.